advertise your small business, nonprofit organization, or activist group on AMTV. Click the link below. So this is what due process looks like in America. Take a good hard look. Take a hard look. Burn that mother effer down. Burn that mother effer down. This is what due process looks like in America today. Am I, am I the only person shocked? Am, am I the only person watching this going, huh, they're literally incinerating this guy live on national television. They've decided to willfully assassinate Christopher Dorner and burn his flesh live on national television. Am I the only person shocked by this? Am I the only person going, hmm? So this is what due process looks like in America. There isn't any. The LAPD, as I told you before, as we've been breaking this story, wanted this guy dead from the very beginning. You know, I'm one of these strange people that still believes in innocent till proven guilty, no matter how heinous the murders, no matter how heinous the alleged, that's key there, alleged crimes are. Now look, I'm not defending Christopher Dorner, I'm not defending his actions, his manifesto, anything like that, but he still deserves a right to a fair trial. He still deserves habeas corpus. He still deserves the right to defend himself in a court of law. But what's a law? Do laws even exist anymore? Are there any laws at all? And who decides who lives or dies? Obviously, in this case, it was the LAPD. We're just going to flat out kill him, is what the LAPD said. We're just going to flat out burn this mother effer down. Which is exactly what they did. No due process, no conviction by a jury of his peers, uh, no right to seek representation from an attorney and potentially defend himself from these alleged, key, alleged crimes. Now, I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm not saying that uh, Dorner wasn't on a mass killing spree and that I'm not even saying that he didn't deserve to die. But how does another wrong suddenly make a right? How does the LAPD burning down this log cabin and incinerating Dorner alive, burning his flesh alive, make anything better? Is that, our, uh, is that our vengeance for uh, his killing? What's clear is that the LAPD wanted Christopher Dorner dead from the very beginning, and they didn't care who got in their way. They didn't even care who they were shooting at. They were shooting at 70-year-old Latina women in pickup trucks, not even matching the description of Dorner. They were shooting at 40-year-old white guys. Not that it's a racial thing, but it just goes to show you they weren't even identifying who the heck they were opening fire at and shooting dozens of rounds into the back. They wanted this guy dead from the very beginning. And it brings up a couple interesting points because now Christopher Dorner can't tell his story. I think the mainstream media gives these guys and these killers and these types of people way too much of a platform. Then they glamorize the killings. Like America is really supposed to care about this guy's story. But the story that I'm interested in is what exactly is going on internally at the LAPD? Why is this a cover up? Why do they not care who they kill, who lives or dies? Why is it they get to decide who lives or dies? Why is it that the LAPD decides we're just gonna flat out assassinate this guy and burn him alive in a log cabin? Who makes those decisions? Because in America, we have something, a little, little known thing known as habeas corpus, known as the right to a fair trial, known as the right to seek representation representation by an attorney and actually represent ourselves and defend ourselves from alleged crimes. And these are things that Christopher Dorner didn't have access to. What is this? The big bad wolf showing up to town? Just going to kill people for sport? Yet the American people in the mainstream media watch this, watch live on camera, burn this mother down. And they're like, yeah, we're just, you know, killing people, assassinating people. Yeah, there's no right to a fair trial anymore. Let's just incinerate the guy. Let's just cold case Sheriff Joe Posse it at this guy's place and not represent any kind of law or morality anymore. We're just going to kill, kill, kill. You know, we have structures like this in our society to protect criminals, protect the innocent. If we don't protect criminals, we have no protection for the innocent. We have no protection for you. And so the fact that American can sit by the wayside and literally watch this guy die and burn to death live on national TV just goes to show you just how back backwards things really are, just how in the dark the American people are, and just how propagandized the masses are. Because they look at something like this and they don't even see anything wrong with it. They're like, yeah, an eye for an eye. Let's burn him alive. Go Dorner. Power to the cops. 
Power to the LAPD. Kill, kill, kill. How is what the LAPD did yesterday and what they did last night any different from what Christopher Dorner was doing by killing innocent civilians and just deciding to murder people and use his vendetta in a real life falling down movie like scenario? How is that any different? The LAPD just decided they're going to burn this guy alive yesterday, not give him a trial, not give him a chance to defend himself. That wasn't the only option that the LAPD had. They could have gone in with different types of gas that didn't incinerate the building. They could have somehow uh, incapacitated Dorner to bring him alive so that he could get in front of a jury, in front of a court of law. Now look, I realize Dorner was using deadly force. I realize that any good cop is going to be very fearful of his life. I realize Dorner killed four people, allegedly, and that the tensions are running high. But that still is not an excuse for incinerating somebody live on national television without a trial and without any rights or civil liberties or the things that we say we cherish here in the United States. Things like our Constitution and the Bill of Rights and habeas corpus. There is not an excuse for that. And if the police department and our government officials and the local sheriff in your city and town isn't going to hold themselves to a higher standard, guess what? There is no standard anymore, America. There are no standards. They will kill you. They will destroy you. They will eradicate you. They will euthanize you. They will burn you alive anytime they so desire and choose. They decide if you live or die. Not you. Dorner didn't decide it. They decide it. They're going to kill, 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 kill you if they decide you're an enemy of the state and they just don't want to give you the luxury of a fair trial. They don't want to give you the luxury of your ability to defend yourself in a court of law. This is a big, big deal. Where are the activists? Where are the civil rights leaders? Where are the people bitching and moaning about this? Where is Jesse Jackson demanding that Dorner get a fair shake? Where are these people? Where are you, Jesse Jackson, Reverend? Because I hear nobody speaking out about this. I hear nobody giving a darn and giving a crap. I am not condoning any of Dorner's actions, who he was, or anything of the sort. But I also do not condone trampling the Constitution, our Bill of Rights, habeas corpus, a right to a fair trial, and all the things that we hold up high on a pedestal here in America, but we just don't do it anymore. I'm Christopher Green. You've been watching Green Wave TV, alternative media television. I just deliver the daily wave. Hard hitting and in your face. Please like us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, and get it out to the viewing public worldwide. Peace.